Hi, today I'm going to talk about face masks, my philosophy on using them, why I love face masks, and some of my favourite products from all different price points. First up, I just want to say that I don't believe that you need to wait for a special occasion to use a face mask. They should just fit in with everyday life. You know, often I'll do one in the morning, maybe when I get out the shower, like while I'm sort of combing my hair, brushing my teeth, you've got 10 minutes while you're kind of sorting your clothes out, what you're gonna wear, I'll often put one on then. And then I'll use different ones on different days. So I often use like a face mask a day, but I'll have like a cleansing one one day, an exfoliating one another day, a moisturizing one another day, and um, and so on and so forth. So, you know, even if it's on for five minutes, 10 minutes maximum, I think sometimes you, you forget that you can just pop one on at any time. So that kind of use them a lot more than I guess they rec- sometimes they say once or twice a week. I don't, I like to use them all the time. Now I'm going to start by showing you some of my favorite masks for oily skin and for spotty skin. So for really blemish prone skin. This is something that I would use myself, even though I wouldn't necessarily use it all over. So again, you can use different face masks on different areas of your face. You know, I'll use like a cleansing one on my cheeks, whatever, and then more of a one for blemishes on my chin and nose and so on and so forth. So you can really mix and match with with face masks. So here are some of my favorite four real blemish prone skin. This is the Clarifying Clay Mask by SkinCeuticals. I'm going to start at the top end of the market in terms of price point and work down. This is great because it's it's a clay based mask. It has bentonite clay and kaolin and also has 5% AHAs, so lactic acid and such that will really help to exfoliate and get rid of all those dead skin cells. It also has things like chamomile and aloe vera, so it's great for helping the skin to repair itself and to really sort of calm the skin as well if you have any breakouts. Sometimes I just use it on spots and sometimes I put it all over one particular area of my face and sometimes I'll use it all over. It just depends what my skin's doing at that particular time. It's a nice one because it doesn't dry hard. You feel it dry but you can still move your face around. The way some of them they're so sort of tight that you can't speak or do anything and that one I can kind of make phone calls and um, just carry on with whatever I'm doing while I'm wearing it. Another one which is similar to that is the Medic 8 one and this is a British brand which I really like and this is really nice because um, it's a very soft one so it doesn't really dry at all. It still has the bentonite clay in the kaolin and it also has various ingredients to really help to repair your skin this one actually has oh yeah this one's got salicylic acid in so willow bark and it has um, antioxidants and things to help to repair the skin and just keep it in really good condition and that's just a really easy nice mask to use the next mask which is great for oily skin is the clarifying mask by murad and this again contains bentonite clay and um, kaolin which are generally good ingredients to look out for in which whichever mask you use for oily skin. This one also has licorice extract, which is good for soothing the skin and for fading sort of marks and things that have been left behind by spots. It also has grapeseed, which is a good antioxidant. It doesn't have the AHAs and the BHAs, but it's generally good for oily skin. A really good um, well-priced point one is the Neutrogena Visibly Clear, and this is a two-in-one face wash and mask. This also has the bentonite clay and the um, kaolin and the salicylic acid. So it's got some good ingredients in. I must say that any of these can be used as face washes. If you wake up in the morning and you have that really oily film on your skin, if you're very, very oily, a tiny bit of any of these will, will do with water. Just rub on the skin, leave for 30 seconds and, and rinse off. Um, so they can all be used in that way. So next category is irritated skin. I'm going to start by using this first aid beauty and this is the Ultra Repair Instant Oatmeal Mask. And this contains oatmeal, which is great for really calming down irritated skin. It has chamomile and it also has shea butter, so it's good for really moisturizing any dryness that you have. So next one is the event Soothing Moisture Mask. And this one is really packed with triglycerides, which are fatty acids that really help to moisturize, um, great for dehydrated skin, stress skin. It's very, very soothing. And finally, La Roche Posay, and um, this is one of my favorite masks. For, it's a soothing and rehydrating mask. So 
if you've just got off a plane or you're generally feeling really dehydrated I love to use this one in the winter even though I've got oily skin I'll still use it um, because it just is it's hyaluronic acid so it just plumps everything up and really deeply hydrates your skin so your, your skin feels amazing afterwards so the next category are the brightening the plumping the radiance boosting mask and these are the ones that you'll use when you're going out before you go out in the evening like I'm going out tonight and I've used a mask before I went but did my makeup or in the morning if you have like a big meeting or something you want to look great for I'm going to start with the most expensive and this is the Sisley Black Rose Mask this is a very plumping mask a very beautifying mask it's very creamy um, when you wash it off you do sort of temporarily feel very plumped up in the skin it doesn't last forever sadly um, and that contains antioxidants in the form of red vines and a special um berry complex which is great for just sort of radiance boosting and repairing the collagen fibers try and leave it on for a while i often put that one on and then have um, a bath or something so it really kind of works it's magic um, the next one would be the triple oxygen instant energizing mask and i love to use this in the morning almost like an extension of cleansing because you put it on it foams up instantly you leave it on for three to four minutes and you wash it off and it's just full of vitamin C which just instantly brightens and um, makes your skin look really alive and um, it's a really nice one actually for the, in the morning I think and because it's so quick it can just fit into your routine easily so one of my absolute favorites is this power mask by Dermalogica it's very creamy again brilliant if you're just feeling like your skin's looking old and worn out and just ugh, just knackered um, it really plumps up the skin it has um, beta glucan it has all of the vitamins a c e great for sort of repairing any damage that's been done but it's also very soothing with comfrey burdock chamomile um, and it's just a really nice one to use. It smells sort of banana -y, I think, but um, it doesn't contain banana, but it's, it smells quite nice as well. Another great mask is the Racine Aqua Blanc, and this is great for brightening. It is good for if you have pigmentation, if you generally need to put a bit of a glow back in your skin. You really feel this when it's working, actually. It kind of You feel it kind of stimulating the skin. It is good at just overall brightening and lifting shadows, and um, it's made in Korea, and I think... All of the Korean skincare is always, always the best, I think, personally for the brightening because it's, um, it's something that they just do really, really well. A nice natural skincare brand that make a good mask is the Orico London. And this mask is 99% from natural origin. And it's a good mixture, this one, because it has the kaolin and the clay, so it's quite deep cleansing. But it's also very, very nourishing. It has coconut oil, has special oils from nuts, lots of vitamins, minerals, aloe vera. So it's kind of a good all-rounder. It's called Skin Brunch. A cheaper alternative that works is the Simple Deep Cleansing Mask. This also has the kaolin, so it has the clays in. It has glycerin, which is a great humectant helps your skin to really retain moisture and it also has the chamomile for soothing and the multivitamin complexes so the vitamin b's and things which are great at protecting your skin so they're just a few of my favorites and as i say don't forget you can use different ones on different areas of your face depending on your skin type and also on different days i mean if i'm really spotty i'll do a really deep cleansing one for blemish skin two days running and then then I'll maybe use a hydrating one on the third day. Or um, if my skin's very dehydrated, I'll use plumping ones. And just try and fit them in, you know. Um, they can You can fit them in in the morning or like I'm going out tonight. So I did an exfoliating one earlier in the day while I made all my phone calls. I use my Gentle Cream Exfoliant by Dermalogica, which is a, a really great mask as well. And then tonight I did a real plumping one. I did the Sicily um, Cream black rose one so I, I find them to be a great um, part of your skincare regime the one thing I will say though is obviously if you have sensitive skin there's no such thing as you know any safe product because you can be allergic to anything so if you're trying out a face mask for the first time do a patch test and just check that you're not allergic to it and you can be allergic to anything even if it says it's you know hypoallergenic whatever so do test them out and um just enjoy them. I certainly have been enjoying using face masks really regularly for years and years and years and um, I just swear by them. So enjoy.